hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley and this is a ts tech talk video so um this is an app review for facebook live streaming app so um the name of the app is called prism prism life just type prism life studio and you are going to see the application display on your play store it's probably going to be the first thing that displays so go ahead and download the application let's make use of it i didn't even know the application have an update so i need to update it um before we continue so guys the app has been updated and downloaded and we can open the app to install um to start making use of it but before we open the app to start making use of it you can go ahead and read through right here on about the app if probably the app is actually going to be useful and you can notice on this top section it says um is a high quality live streaming app to live stream um on on li to live stream platforms such as youtube facebook and more and prism also helps you to shoot um, and edit colorful live broadcast video so um, this app actually gives you um, um, a color filter that you can use to um, highlighting or fine tune your videos and make it look sharp so you can notice right there it even have more features like um, it says um, the shooting mode choose live video or photo so a lot of features and all you need to do to continue using the app is just to log in and then you can actually screenshot chat with um, your viewers in live stream and then you can notice there also has a video overlay and it has a web widget also and it can also connect to prism through pc apart from having it as a mobile app it has a beauty effect which is also what was listed above and also a camera effect animated test effect and it all you can also add background music and then you notice it also have a camera pro chroma um key actually the chroma key is for making transparent um video and you notice it also have editing and sharing which already exist um listed ab above so there are even more features but instead of reading everything let's just go ahead and open the application so this is the application when you click on it it takes a while to load up so um, you have to wait for it to load once it loads the first thing you need to do is to sign in with um, any of this detail you can sign in with your twitch with your facebook or with google but um, depending on which um, platform you want to use for instance you want to live stream on facebook page you have to click on the facebook um, connection so that it connects to the application with your facebook page but if you want to live stream on youtube go ahead and make use of the google option and then twitch the same thing but i do not know um the option for apple probably the apple is for um, iphone users so i'm going to click on um with facebook and then i'm going to continue making use of this application this is actually my profile my facebook profile because i'm currently logged in with facebook but if you are not logged in with facebook you will have to log in um to have access to this and now you notice it says um please grant access to the following uh, you notice you are granting access to your camera microphone and then your media so i'm going to click on ok allow and allow and allow so guys immediately i clicked on allow um it actually disabled the voice notes so right now i'm actually um, recording the voice while i'm um, viewing the features of the video so um you can notice on this top area you can turn off the mic and um, enable the mic actually whenever it opens this section it actually displays all of the features of the app for you and with this area you can actually take a screenshot and you notice on the bottom it actually have um option to enable the back camera and also you can enable the front camera by disabling that back and also if you notice right there you can also um, save a video while you're live streaming a video but guys i do not advise you guys to actually save a video while live streaming and then once you want to start recording you can just click on the um, big button on the bottom section and also if you want to make use of a filter area you can just click on the filter icon and then it's going to display so many filters for you uh, once it displays any filter you can tap on anyone to make use of them but i'm not doing that on today's video and also it also gives you um 
um, and even camera effects that you can actually make use of on the application. And um, funny thing, guys, um, or interesting thing, guys, is actually that most of these things are actually free to Damn. use. And also, if you notice on the bottom section, you can swipe left and right. And also, when you swipe left under the bottom area, you notice it gives you an option to connect, which is connecting to your PC. And when you swipe so right, area, it gives you an option to go live. Have, and on I the top area, you in. find the and profile actually, icon. When you um, click on that, Entity. You can see the profile detail that you have to enter on your app. And then, guys, even more interesting thing is that um, you can easily navigate through this app. Um, the swiping on the one on the middle, the one in the middle and the one on the bottom actually gives you different filters and different features. If you swipe left on the one um, in the middle, it actually shows you the studio area. And in the bottom, it shows you also different things. So um, whichever thing you want to do is actually simplified. And when you notice on this studio area, you can easily create things. You notice on the studio area, it has um, your media your music, your test, and also the widget, and then the screencast. Each and every one of these are actually very important. So depending on what you want to do, probably you want to enter a test. You can click on the test, enter a test. And um, if you want to make use of the music and add a music that is going to be playing on the background, probably you can select the music section. And when you click on the media, it shows everything on your device. This is currently showing everything on my phone right now. And I can click on one of them for you to see i just selected the instagram and then click on add and now the instagram has been added now i, I just click on edit to edit the instagram um picture i just added right now and funny thing i do not know how much um or how this work properly so i'm actually going to take some time to study this application and make proper video on how to make use of this application application for you guys and quick notes guys Today is actually the first day I'm making use of this application. So I really apologize for not explaining things in detail, but I'm going to take my time to practice this application and make even more tutorials for you guys. So that is basically it for now, guys. I'm going to take some time to look into this application, make use of it, and also create more tutorials for you guys. So if this video is helpful, smash like and subscribe.